Hello, I'm Annie Sloan and I'm in my workshop in Oxford with Dave Calloway, who is my production manager and does all the paint, knows all about it. And we're here to discuss what is satin paint. So, Dave, what is satin paint? <laughs> satin paint is a single step solution for painting any of your metal or woodwork surfaces. You can do your, your furniture, your skirting boards, your internal doors. Um, uh, it's been designed for you know to be washable, wipeable, and to be child friendly. Um, and it's completely water based. So when you say one step, do you mean it is actually one step or do you mean it doesn't have the waxing, all of that stuff? So it does take prep work to do it. It's a what you put into it, you get out of it mm. um, kind of a product where the more prep you get is a much nicer finish. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we don't uh, say that you need to have any waxing, any lacquering or any after products to make it strong or stable. Um, so what I really love about it is that it is um, self-leveling which means that you see brush strokes to begin with. I mean, I tend to paint every which way. You can paint up and down, um, but they're brush marked, but then they all disappear, don't they? Yes, yeah. but so it promotes a slightly thicker coat of paint, so no, no, you don't need to overwork it. It will then self-level itself out to a nice smooth finish. What does that actually mean? How does that work? Is there a sort of technical understanding of what that means? So um, technically, it just means the fact that the uh, paint relaxes um, just before it dries. So um, with paint, it will uh, dry up from the surface and the the, you know, the the air on the surface. But what that does is it actually keeps it open a little bit longer for it to relax. And all the uh, brush strokes that you do, or the majority of the brush strokes you do, will actually relax back down into its natural level. So it self levels. You don't have to overwork it to make it that pristine finish because it'll actually do it yourself if it has enough paint to do it with. Hence why we don't want you guys to uh, overwork it to make it really, really thin. So it sort of stops that self-leveling uh, technology. Yeah, that one thing you just said, um, don't overwork it. It's something that people tend to do. They keep working and you really don't need to work so hard. And you need to have quite a bit of paint to begin with. You don't yeah. want to do too thin a coat. Definitely not. Flat brushes from Annie Sloan are the best to use. Um, nice thick stroke, couple of strokes just to make sure it's covered and then just leave it. Within the next um, few minutes, it will self-level itself. And as it dries and cures, it will be a lovely uh, soft sheen. So when we say thick paint, we don't mean really thick. We don't mean really heavy, but it's just really sort of not too thin. Don't spread it out as you might do with chalk paint. So um, what else can we say about it? So it comes in a nice convenient 750ml uh, size. So that's the one litre chalk paint and that's the 750ml, which is UK or European sizes, which is 25 US fluid ounces. How much does this cover, Dave? So this one will uh, cover about 11 square metres. And for America, that's 118 square feet. So where does satin paint sit in the whole Annie Sloan family? So we have chalk paint, we have satin paint, and we have wall paint. So Dave, how does, how does everything compare? What would you say? So this, the chalk paint everybody knows and loves, absolutely fantastic for doing your furniture in all kinds of wonderful styles. Um, your wall paint is essentially a broad wall um, architectural paint, and the satin paint is a uh, companion to that wall paint range. So it is designed to be um, a part of your everyday living. So your doors, your, your um, window sills, all of those kind of things will live up and, and will be, you know, it, it can be strong enough to handle everyday use. Right. So great for kitchens. I'm really pleased about that because I mean, I think chalk paint is fantastic for kitchens. I've got chalk paint, but some people want something really, really just no trouble. They don't want a finish or anything. They just want, I mean, a fancy finish. They just want something robust and strong in a great colour. The other main attribute of satin paint, as against chalk paint, satin is if you just want a simple finish, a flat finish, 
and a perfect finish. If you want to do anything creative, like do ombre or blended effects or texture or anything to do with that sort of thing, you're much, much better to be using chalk paint. So I want to talk a bit about the colors. The colors um, I've designed to do, um, to work with all my other colors and a little bit with chalk paint as well. And this is our color card. It says wall paint and satin paint and all the colors are on there and some of course are in both satin and wall paint. So it's all in there and of course go to the website and find out lots more. So where would you use the satin paint? Um, we've said on the skirting and on architraves, on doors, but what about furniture? So yeah, um, you can use it on um, furniture. It's actually, the, the sheen of it has been designed to uh, mimic the chalk paint with a layer of wax on buffed. You can use any form of, of uh, furniture with it. Um, you can always use it on your radiators or your metal work. Ta -da! It's really, really uh, <laughs> good. It'll stick to just about everything. Um, also, you know, it's, it can be used as splashbacks, things like that. Things that need to be a little bit more washable than, than a, uh, a wall paint might need to be. Um, but there are a few places you would not use this paint. And they are, I'll do one, you can do another. I'm going to say outdoors. The other one that I would suggest that, we, that you don't do is any wooden flooring. Yeah, chalk paint for floors with, uh, with obviously a lacquer. So we've talked about where you can use the paint. Um, we've talked about kitchens, um, and what about bathrooms? So I've got a little bit of a thing about people saying this is a paint for kitchens or for bathrooms, but really it's the same stuff, isn't it? And satin paint will go in a kitchen or in a bathroom. Anything you want to add to that? I would always uh, recommend that people to give a little bit more time for drying and curing, especially in a, in a very warm, damp environment that humidity really does um, elongate the drying times of any paint. Now for preparing, you did say earlier, I think, that if you're preparing really, really well, so if you do sand down, it will last longer. You think it'd be better. The better you prepare, the better it is. So yeah, it, it, yeah. it is like you, it will stick to just about any, anything and it will do the job. It does work really, really nicely. But yes, there is a gold standard that I would suggest the fact that, mm. you know, the more preparation you can put into something is the better for it. You yeah. know, it will come up really nicely. But chalk paint, of course, you know, that's the one where you don't have to prepare at all. So this is slightly different. So what would you apply satin paint with? These are really, really good. I do use my, my brush, my um, bristle brush. Um, but I think these are probably the perfect thing. Now, Dave and I have some things about applying with our lovely rollers. You can do it with a roller, can you? But what is the danger? So if you use a foam roller or any kind of roller with the paint, it does give a, a much thinner uh, coating. So that self-leveling property is less likely to take a, effect. So you can still get a, a nice uh, color, but you might have a little bit, you know, you might have a couple more uh, coats or you might not, you might have a ripple or those kind of things. It doesn't do quite as well as using a, a decent flat brush like ours. And Dave, do you think it needs one coat or two coats? We do recommend as a gold standard yeah. having two, at least two coats. You might need another one if it's a, it's a really big color change. So black to white and et cetera. So, I, I would definitely keep that in mind before you uh, you start. So you painted your piece, everything's looking gorgeous, you're really happy. Now the big thing you must do is wash your brushes quickly. It is not chalk paint. And how long does it take to completely cure? So if you painted it, um, how long would it be ready to use it? I mean, could I reuse it as soon as it was dry or would you be best to leave it a little bit to harden? So it will dry very quickly within an hour or so, but then to go fully hard and to cure properly, it will take up to 14 days. So 14 days, that doesn't mean that you can't go near it. It will feel fine, but don't do, put a big heavy thing on it. So anything more that we want to say about satin? What about cleaning it? What would you do your furniture? So I would um, clean it just like you would do most other things in your house. So a nice mild detergent or yeah, a little bit of warm water, those kind of things. As mm. soon as it's cured, it's as tough as it can be. 
If you want more information, head to our website. There's lots of information there, lots of beautiful pictures. So enjoy, enjoy, have a wonderful time painting your house with satin paints. Thank <laughs> you.